is to say that I want to get rid of the decimals. So I'll get rid of the decimals and there we have it. So now that looks good. Let's save this one as just the standard income statement. So I'm gonna export it to Excel. I'll say open up Excel, export it. You need Excel in order to do this. I'm gonna open it in Excel and then I'm just gonna basically copy this information onto the report that I want it to include it on or the workbook I want it in. To copy it, I'm gonna select the entire thing with a triangle and then I'm gonna say Control C or right click and copy. Go on over to our Excel file we want to put it in. Add a new tab at the bottom. I'm just gonna double click on the name and call it an IS or income statement. Put my cursor in either A1 or select the entire workbook or worksheet and control V or right click and paste just normally and there it is. I'm holding control and scrolling in a bit. So there we have it. I'm not gonna do a lot of more other fancy formatting, but of course, once you have it in here, you can do other formatting. Once in here, then I can go to the file tab. I can uh, print it. I can print it using a PDF printer. This one's a free printer that you could check out. I'm not trying to advertise for them or anything, but that's an option if you don't have one. And then we can print the entire workbook, which will include all the reports, including the last one we put in. Notice it's left aligned right now. So you could do some work to try to center the report on the page and so on with some formatting. I won't go into that in detail at this time. I just wanna focus in on this technique because it's not an Excel course, but the 